this is Danny with Quad Legs, and today we're going to be building the 250 Mini Plus Quad with the Afro Race Spec 20 up 4 in 1 plus CC3D flight controller built in. Um, you know, it's a mouthful, but it uh, has the 20 amp 4 in 1 ESC and the uh, CC3D uh, flight controller that's built in it. Really neat and takes uh, very little space to put it in. Very simple to install and uh, I'm going to go over it a little bit. We're using some um, inexpensive motors and I'm going to be using this particular setup for just practicing. Um, it's very much adequate for that. Uh, these are 2204-2300 kV motors on them. 5-4 props. The lemon receiver PPM setup uh, works real well. And you can probably tell first thing there's nothing in this area here. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. ESCs and the flight controllers are in this area right here. Just that simple. So it's going to leave us plenty of room for, you know, the camera, uh, FPV equipment, or what else ever you want to, or, you know, what else, uh, or whatever else you want to put in. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. And like I said, I didn't even, I was going to do a build video, but uh, it didn't warrant it. It was that easy to do. So let me go ahead and get the bottom plate off. And this is probably the easiest build I've ever done, or electronics, you know, that I've ever done. One thing you will have to do is, you know, put the, uh, and that's probably the hardest thing there is, is to go ahead and, uh, you know, solder on the uh, bullet connectors onto the motors and the uh, bullet connectors on the um, on the ESC are already on there you know it comes furnished with it that's it I put um, standoffs here and um, put four of them so I went ahead and drilled into the bottom plate and I put the four standoffs and um, the directional is this way. This is, you know, listed as motor one, two, three, and four, and that's the way I put them on. The connectors here to use it as a PPM, you have to use uh, black and red, and then um, the number, uh, the eighth wire. So using black and and red, and then this last wire here. I went ahead and took out all of these here if you were going to use PWM uh, setup. So I, but I went ahead. I didn't obviously, and I went ahead and took these out here. This is the cabling to your receiver. Everything's ready. You put your standoffs. You mount this. You put your uh, connector here. Your battery connector on that you want. And uh, so I sorted this on here. The uh, bullets for the motors are sorted on, plugged in. I went ahead and programmed it with uh, Libra Pilot. And um, everything worked really, really well. So nice, nice setup. And that's it. That's the extent of it. I mean, it's super, super simple. And. Uh, it flies really well. I test flew it yesterday, not for very long. The weather here is really, really bad. But uh, you can see everything else is clean. <laughs> it leaves you tons of room and uh, works real well. Super easy. Not much to say, I'm sorry. But uh, it's uh, really, really easy to do. Makes for a nice, nice job. If you need anything else on this or if I can help you, please let me know. So you know I'm continually
trying new things and um, this is one of the ones I ran up against. Uh, I think it just came out. But it works really, really good. So we're also using the uh, Afro 4-in-1 ESCs without the flight controller. Uh, you know, we're using a separate one. And it works really good uh, also. We've had real good luck with that and, you know, I like them quite a bit. So try this one out if you get a chance. It really works. And it makes it really easy on finishing it off your 200 or your 250 Mini Plus Quad. This is Danny with Quad Lugs. Super easy. Super simple.